What's up, guys? Mikey in the building. Hope you guys had a great day. Uh, I thought we had some uh, beautiful action today for a long. Uh, I'm going to break down RSLS, kind of go through my day, RSLS view, and then CCCC. Uh, before I break down RSLS, I'm going to show you guys a daily. You know, I always like to start this out by the daily, right? Um, this one, RSLS, was great because it was a, a sideways consolidation daily. And then more importantly, the pre-market structure on this one was uh, really great too, after our pre-market structure. Uh, but really quick, I thought this was a key area to hold. So when I drew my zones out, I made sure I tapped that and drew it straight across. And then I started to, to draw down other breakdown areas with potential reclaims on this one, okay? Uh, so go, deep dive in into this one. Uh, the structure, 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 I think is so important. A match up with daily and then what the volume is uh, pertaining to open and, and how the structure was built. I have a bunch of videos on these two. It's just sideways consolidation. So to me, there wasn't really any any important like breakdown zones on this one, right? This to me just looked like a big soak pattern. There w they didn't look like there was like an exit at seller or exiting seller on this one, or uh, uh, a, a top, right? But sideways consolidation, all right. Uh, I was thinking that it was gonna pull back to, let's break on the book now, all right. I thought this was a really great seller uh, absorption right here. And more importantly, uh, this there was a 38K bid, or a 38 cent bidder right here at 65,000 shares. Uh, this guy never even got tapped into, all right. If you guys look at this right here, you might think that it got tapped into, but if you're utilizing the book, remember that you can spread it, okay? So this seller got absorbed, and you can see some selling going on here, but it started to dry up, and then if you spread this right here, you can see that they didn't even get sold into, all right? Once I started seeing this, this is when I started to take my position, okay? After this one started to break out, um, uh, of course, I wanted to see a move, right? So when I mark out my daily levels and stuff and I'm looking left and looking at the daily uh, one of the biggest targets I was uh, gearing for was this high right here at 55 cents okay uh, so when those 45s pulled back I, I thought I was gonna have to stop out to be honest with you but then this big old bidder came beautiful 99 97k bidder you can see that there was already some bids right here at 27 or 27,000 at 40 cents but then the bid started to get heavier and then uh, price action did not break down at all. Really great sideways consolidation sandwich uh, on a bigger time frame. Um, I talk about these two. You know, to me, this controls price action uh, for either consolidation or uh, potential um, tops, depending on where they are. But nice control right here. Uh, this is, to me, a great example of control where you got an offer and then you got a bid and then you got some consolidation in between. Okay, then you can start seeing how bids right here, they're starting to throw up some bids. They don't stick. There's a little spoofs, they get pulled, but you know, this is great. Um, a lot of people probably take some trades off this because they see a bidder and they'll start smacking. And then when they start smacking, they start removing liquidity off the book. And this is how we're starting to see some skips and some jumps. Okay, once this thing pulls back, pulls back to a previous area where they had liquidity. And then here goes another spot uh, where you see absorption right here okay and uh, more importantly we're gonna start seeing some sideways consolidations but these all right here are gonna start being our higher lows okay all these higher lows right here on the book all right all these higher lows on the book stick right here and uh, more importantly seller exhaustion coming down into them starts to deplete and you can start seeing some bids start to catch these guys right here all right that was a really great trade for me in the very beginning of the day. Uh, I circled this spot right here because as things start to go parabolic, you can see that they have a bidder right here. So this is a little book flip right here. All right, nice little book flip on the on the book. But as things start to come back down, there's a bunch of dead space. All right, bunch of dead space. Uh, to me, this is a last buyer right here that got absorbed for 100,000 shares, 106K. No bid support on this, and you can start to see them pulling. Okay, they had a lot of bids right here, but then they pulled it. You know, they throw up some little bids right here, and they pull it. This guy gets sold into right here. 
uh, and then the book kind of flips and every time it tries to bounce then you got some offers starting to come in right here all right that's pretty much what I got on RSLS um, I didn't stick around for uh, any of the rest of that kind of stuff view 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 all right view I thought was really phenomenal this is a continuation liquidity trap BAM okay I try to trade this multiple days I was looking for this move you know over here and then over here so it got some uh, quote unquote scalps out of them uh, because you know bottom ticked it doesn't really work too well off the book and then it kind of just trades sideways so you know I took my profits I don't really like to hold and swing but I mean that would have been nice having 160s all the way to almost five bucks but I don't trade like that so it's fine all right so really nice liquidity trap uh, these were some some key areas to me that I want to see break out and, uh, and 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 really take off and then start to retest uh, again, 330s, and then uh, really this spot right here. So it's really nice to see a nice liquidity trap break out, sustain these moves, and then go ahead and test more key areas on the daily. This was a sideways consolidation, so this was really nice supply, and then you can see it got rejected right here, and then so far it rejected right here. All right, um, break down the book though. Again, uh, I thought View had multiple opportunities too for anybody watching that. Again, uh, not only. I took these ads because uh, this was off yesterday's pivot, right? And I'll show you on the book too, real quick. So this is pulling back to yesterday's pivot, which was 256s. And then we have some sellers absorption right here. And then again, right here. All right. That's how I had my average of um, 264s. Okay. Uh, thought that was a really, really, really great trade. And I held this one for a dollar per share. And then I didn't get any off up here on this squeeze because I was not paying attention yeah I know call me crazy but I wasn't really paying attention but I was able to get the rest off the 419s on this one um, again this was a nice squeeze out um, I don't even know if it was pretty tough it looked like to even try to get any off this kind of just popped up and then immediately came right back down uh, you can you can kind of see how they they did that right there at the best offer and the best bid um, didn't really see any a lot of people selling on that one um, this is where I exited for the rest of my shares on that one uh, again this was a really different type of, of play on the book right it wasn't that like insane momentum grinder or uh, the insane momentum like up only there's a lot a lot of momentum uh, but instead it, it was the grinder it grinded right it broke out I thought these were really great spot too because that's that daily pivot at 290s so previous area of interest pulled back consolidated and there wasn't really any major interest of selling so this was key right here to me right this was also over that daily level there wasn't a big interest of selling on this one so uh, you know another great opportunity for maybe some people to add right here but uh, more importantly for me to keep holding I didn't want to see a breakdown right here uh, it looks like some definitely control right here on the book right some hey bring down the best offer best bids uh, during live time real quick too during live time guys when things are trading uh, you're gonna have this gap depending on if you guys got the book uh, you can spread it uh, you know smaller or wider I like to keep mine pretty decently open uh, it's going to flicker so you know when I'm even reviewing this and I get to go back when you were reviewing this and you're going tick by tick on these names it's doing that it's doing this what you're seeing on the uh, current order book tick for tick okay so during live time you're gonna see them put bids pull the bids put an offer pull the offer you're gonna see how the algo is working on on the book or potential MMs or any big buyers or sellers that are playing ball on this so you're gonna be able to see them put them on pull them put them on pull them put them on keep them there right very similar to the RSLS in the beginning of the video and then you're just gonna see um, uh, them throw on new offers okay so when the books trading right here you know you're seeing these offers um, and as things start to come in now you're starting to see them throwing more offers right up here right so as this is trading and you look up well there's really not much but now as price action is starting to come in you're starting to see them throw more liquidity on the book okay super super important to understand uh, this was a great liquidity trap all right this was one of my best trades again it's crazy uh, just by holding holding for the move 
you know, RSLS, again, uh, you know, of course, uh, to me as an open long, when you can grab some decent size on a sub dollar name and, uh, you know, almost get 20 cents out of it is really phenomenal too, uh, in my opinion, right? Um, okay, CCC. Breakdown CCC, uh, you know, <laughs> wow. Well, first of all, look at this. <laughs> look at these guys throw up over 100,000 shares on each price level. So, you know, you almost got, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 700,000, probably eight, 900,000 worth of bids real quick, which causes this thing to probably potentially squeeze because it throws an imbalance off the book. And then they pull it, and then it boom, 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 comes right back down. So, whew, really cool to see. Whoever spoofed this up with a lot of money, that's crazy. All right, but yeah, let's let's dive in. Um, real quick, let me show you that daily on that one. CCCC, again, uh, I really do think it's important to continue to understand where you're trading. Okay, really got to understand where you're trading, uh, marking out some zones and some levels, and then uh, for me. When I do that and I, I utilize the book, I want to see the confluence. Is it getting heavy at these areas? Is it not breaking down? Um, and then shout out to JRED too, in a sense, because, uh, right, these crazy biotechs, right? Uh, I learned a lot from him off those, right? Uh, these are not going to be your typical, hey, this might be the top, let's short it. Or low float stocks, I kind of rip really quick and then they pop, dump, fade, do these things like that. So this one had tons of absorption on the book. Um, CCC ads right here for me were four tens. I missed any of these early ads just because I was trading these other names. Uh, but mind you, I have the book up on all my screens now uh, instead of just uh, staring at the candlesticks, right? Seeing in depth behind the scenes of what's going on and, and seeing the rigs, potential rigs, absorption on that one. Uh, these are my ads right here, 1128s. And this pulled back, and I'll show you why on the book. So I kept four tens for a really nice move. On this one, um, let's go right here, pull this out, 11.38, okay? I thought this was an important area uh, because a couple of reasons, right? Um, first of all, if you're using the book and you're just sitting here and you think that this is a big offer, because it is, it's a, it's actually a really big offer, okay? It's 150K right here, uh, but what happens is here that this was, to me, used for control either to trap shorts or for the algo to accumulate or market makers to accumulate more shares, uh, whatever floats the boat of building a thesis for you. Um, but when this pulls back, guys, right here, as you zoom in, you see that it's being pulled. As price action starts to increase and start to break more levels, they pull this. So whether it was algo, market makers, or whatever on this, uh, they did not want to get filled right here. Okay, so this right here is why I took this trade later it was because of this price action right here. Not only that is that we're reclaiming important areas on the daily. We're not breaking down. All right, CCC2 had tons of momentum yesterday. Uh, a lot of volume that was probably locked in for maybe some uh, people who are swinging this. Uh, you know, these biotech names with good news probably make some big moves that with solid real strong news not these ones that you you know you read 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 and then all sent the very end you see them like oh by the way we just we failed but it'll show you like you know hey a great headline you read through like a hundred thousand words and all of a sudden you get to the bottom and it says like we failed <laughs> and then you see the tank and make new lows all right but uh that's not the case with this one all right um uh, again the reason why i added these four tens right here is because once i saw this controlled price action this was a previous area of interest. We pulled back and some sellers get absorbed. And this is when I went long and held my four tens. Um, on the book, not only do I want to see this area get swept, but as we pull back to, this does not break down. And we kind of keep seeing the same type of absorption. Okay, This was another great absorption area right here. This whole entire section right here. Because yeah, it breaks down, guys, but it only breaks down about 15 cents, right? A new spoof bidder comes in right here, helps price action, and then we start to reclaim over and over and over again. All this thing did, if you zoom out all the way, okay, if you zoom out all the way, all this did was put in some higher lows, 
higher lows, pull back, put in a higher low, pull back, put in a double bottom on the book. Um, and more importantly, once this finally did that, a, a, a new set of bidders came in. All right. A new set of bidders came in. You can see them right here uh, daily wise too. If you guys are paying attention to daily and structure. All right. Uh, potential for shorts. Anybody taking any shorts or shorten this um, as price action starts to come and increase, not break down, you know, they potentially got a cover into these areas, right? It's not breaking down. They may have gotten the top. They saw some pattern, which is fine. Uh, it's not breaking down. This was an important daily level. So to me, this becomes demand. i just not changing my colors um, anymore. I used to just change them, make them green right away, and then keep these up here. Uh, so, you know, some key areas for, for things for potential shorts taken right here. So this is where you get some really squeeze outs. This was a really nice hold right here, these 460s. Above previous breakout area, there's no breakdown. Now we're starting to reclaim these other areas on the daily. Now it's consolidating. Breaks down again, consolidates, consolidates, and then rips and make new highs. Um, this one was phenomenal. All right, this one was great. So the guys, those are the reason why I, I reason why I took my ads uh, over here, CCC view and RSLS, right? RSLS again categorizing. RSLS is a different daily, view is a different daily, and CCC is a different daily. Okay, different dailies, different type of uh, book map uh, auctioning that's going on right here, right? Uh, very, very, very different on each and every single one of them. So it's important to uh, uh, to me when I'm taking these trades, right? Some trades I'm taking with some size, some trades I'm not taking with size. Uh, I'm understanding where we're at and I'm just pretty much mitigating my risk everywhere I am on the book. The book is phenomenal because I get to uh, see where the big buyers and sellers are. I get to see where absorption is taking place and then I get to mitigate my risk. You guys see this, right? I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stocks on watch. All right, and I played only three of them or four. I did take a trade on HRYU, but but you know, I uh, got a little scalp out of that. And then the thing wants to go to one sixties. Wow, they faked me out right here. That's what they did. <laughs> what a move! What a really nice move. Uh, wow. Wowzers, that's that's great. What a nice uh, uh, daily on this one too. Kind of uh, rejected, did not break down, and basically did a liquidity trap uh, later in the day. They were testing these one sixties on the daily, so maybe we'll get a continuation play. Maybe not. Um, huh. Mind blown. Let me see the book real quick, and then I got it. Yeah, I mean, there's just no. It's up only on this. There's really no big offers on this book cool. All right, guys. Much love. Peace out, Mikey.